Hi, I'm Granny Bess. Welcome to Granny Bess and Kitty Kitty Homestead. This is the place where we do homesteading for old geezers. Make do with what we got and we do what we can. Here we are at my fence. Now you may wonder why I didn't bring my little dog out. Well, the truth is, it's like 60 something degrees out here. And the thing is so little and such short hair that she want to freeze to death. So rather than dress her in clothes and bring her out, I leave her in her bed, which she likes. Today we're going to water the garden, pick some kale and chard. Uh, what else are we gonna do? Oh yeah, harvest the microgreens. And we're going to have a mealworm party with the chickens. I told the chicks we were gonna have a mealworm party. Look who showed up. Everybody. Hi, gar hi girls. And Axel. And Zilla. And Robbie. It's really cold out here today. Uh, yeah, like 62, I believe, is the high. Oh, yes. Um, 62 is really cold for us down here. I love to watch the homestead videos in northern areas where it snows, but I'm, I'm used to this. <laughs> I'm used to 62 is cold. Pippi, hello Pip. Pip's going to peck on my shoe. You pecking my shoe, Pip? It has little jewels on it. Not edible though. There's Lucy. She's my noisy chicken. She makes more noise than anybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, we need some. Oh, yes, please. Over here, over here. Everybody wants some. Here's Sarah. Here's Sarah. Oh, and Blue Jay came. Yeah. And here's Pip. Pip, are you coming up to eat some? Come on. Oh, 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 Ethel got him. Okay, whatever. And Nala the cat came for the party, too. Here's Nala. Come here, Nala. Come here, Nala. Hey, Ethel. Oh, 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 gotta get him, gotta get him, gotta get him. Here you go. I try to throw some in several directions, so those who get crowded out of one area can get some in another area. And they do. But Zilla, he's usually crowded out because because he's not the boss rooster. There's another cat. This is Nala. Come here, Nala. Nala. Hi, Nala. She's a backyard kitty. Here's Falcon, the one I think is turning into a rooster.
little pipsqueak sitting on my knee. What do you think, pipsqueak, huh? You're a beauty. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Thank you, Godzilla. Let us know he's here. Yes, he is here. And Robbie the cat, he's here too. What did you say, Pip? Did you say something? You did. You're a beautiful bird. Pip is half Easter egg and half mm, Swedish flower chicken. Lays green eggs. Wow, look at those peas. Those are microgreen peas coming up. I'm going to harvest those today. And what's left of the sunflowers, I need to plant more. And some of these other ones need to be harvested, whatever they are. I can't remember. Fiddling, fiddling with the camera. Okay, let's get the rest of the sunflowers and then we can plant some more. And then let's get some of these peas that are going crazy here. Wow, some of them got out of hand. These are pretty much to the point where if you don't harvest them, they're gonna grow into real plants. <laughs> And then you're gonna lose your microgreens, but maybe you'll have real plants. Now this one, mm, it's probably radish, but what has happened is uh, a cat has stepped in it. I left some to grow later. Maybe I shouldn't have. And a cat came along and stepped in it. But we'll harvest what there is. Ugh. I got some roots in there. I don't want those roots. I left it a little too long. This one's a beauty. Can you see that? Lovely microgreens. I brush it to get the seed hulks off and then Just like cutting its hair. I've seen people harvest them with a knife, but I don't have a knife sharp enough to do that, I don't think. And then we have a little bit of something. Must be beets, because it has a purplish tinge to the bottom of the stems, but there aren't very many. We'll see if some more will grow. And 
This one might be, hmm, might be kale or it might be mustard, I don't know. I just pick them all and eat them all. so much wind out here today. In danger of losing some blowing away. They're such lightweight little things. Now I'm going to leave those pots and I'm going to plant some more. Well, I'm going to plant more sunflowers, but I'm going to leave those pots and water them and hopefully get more to grow. I'm going to pick a little cilantro to put in there because I'm using this on my tacos. Okay. I'll take those inside and wash them. My mint is growing a Swiss chard. I don't know why, but there you go. Growing in the middle of the mint. And look at this. My aloe vera is blooming. That never happened before. I'm watering my itty bitty fall garden here. As you can see, there's uh, some really scrawny tomato plants, some chard, some kale, and there are tomatoes on those plants. But the question is, Will it freeze first or will they ripen first? Your guess is as good as mine. I'm going to come back after I water and harvest some of the card. I still have uh, still have my peppers, jalapenos. <laughs> they never give up. I fear they will give up if it freezes. And then I have some mystery plants between the bricks here. I just threw the uh, leftovers of the microgreens out and they grow. It looks like it's cilantro. Who knows? The chard came from leftovers and all the kale came from leftovers from microgreens. I just threw the little leftovers after I cut everything I could cut into the garden and look it grew into kale how about that or hmm maybe it's turnip greens I don't know we'll see what it turns out to be that one's definitely kale I've been eating off that for a month we haven't had any rain here for about three months. Yesterday it threatened to rain and a few drops fell. I saw both of them, but that was about it. <laughs> really a sorry situation. I usually have a irrigation system out here in my garden. I have for about 10 years, but it just got, it's just been in the Texas sun for too long. So, I tore it up and I'm gonna get me a new drip drip system next spring. You see the uh, reject pecans in the garden. Those are mulch, hey, whatever. You use what you got, you know. You make do with what you got and you do what you can. So I'm, I'm harvesting pecans and I mulch the garden with the rejects. Picked some kale and chard, soaking in uh, water with a little vinegar in it. And um, it's not a lot, but it's enough for the turkey pot pies I wanna make right after Thanksgiving. And here's the microgreens also soaking in water with vinegar in it. Did a 
da-da-da-da-da. Still in bed with her baby at one o'clock in the afternoon. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's too cold for you, huh? Okay. You gonna say something, Isabella? You're just gonna sit there and shiver. My goodness, it's 70 degrees out. About a tree. Do you want a tree? Tree? Yeah. Okay.